So, this is the child who will save the world. Oliver, honey, I brought you some apple pie. I'll just leave it here for you, okay, dearie? Oh, this is good. <laughs> it's such a Studio Ghibli storyline, too. You'll just have to wait until dinner, Timmy told her. Oh, it's so sad. He's been in there three whole days now. A name for a cat, Timmy told him. It's an adorable cat. Where are my cats? Oliver, Mummy starts her new job today. But she's asked someone very special to take care of you. Mummy spent a long time making him. Mm. I'm sure he'll look after you very well. Be good while mommy's away, okay? The thing is adorable. Mommy. Is something wrong, sweetie? Mm -hmm. Just come back soon, okay? Of course, sweetie. We'll always be together, Oliver. Always. Always. <laughs> mommy. Come back. Please. What? What's happening? That's what's all I said? Curse lifted, is it? Tidy! I'm free! Free! Tidy, I'm free? What? Who says that? Huh? What just happened? You just witnessed the rebirth of Drippy, Lord High, uh, Lord of the Fairies. Um, who? What, are you deaf or something? Drippy, Lord High, Lord of the Fairies, I said, didn't I? Drippy? That's right, and I'm sick to the teeth of you were sniveling and moaning. A proper crybaby bunt in you are. <laughs> three days, man. I mean, I've been sad before, but crying for three old days. I'm surprised there's a drop of water left in you. You're a big boy, man. Three days is, well, it's unheard of. What? I, uh... Oh dear, a bit flummoxed, a wee bit lost for words. He's Scottish. Sorry, man, I got all the answers. Oh, but uh, prepare yourself. Explaining all this is going to take a while. Ready? Oh, I wish I had some pie to eat while he was explaining all this. Uh-huh. Tidy. I like your style. Very honest, anyway. Stay that way, okay? Take you far, I will. On with the show! Uh, okay. See, it's like this, see? What it is, is there's more worlds out there than this one by you. There's what you might call parallel worlds, see? They're like worlds along by the side of you or one. And one of those worlds is my world. That's right, the whole nother world. Another world? That's quick you are. And I, that is the Lord High Lord of the Fairies, the reason I'm by you in this world of you is, well, it's because there's a proper bad apple trying to upset the peace of both our worlds, see? Shada, the Dark Jinn, his name is. And what he did was he took over people's hearts and spread war and ruin all over our world. Tried to stand up to him, I did, and he turned me into a flipping doll <laughs> and kicked me out of our world and into you as the rotter. Uh huh. And then you went and cried all over me, and poof, the curse was lifted just like that. Which makes me think you must be the one we fairies call the pure hearted one. The one the legends say will save our world. Magical just tears. To show you can't judge a book by its cover, eh? So, anyway, that means I better get you over to our world and have you get rid of Shadar for us. All right with you? Me? But how can I... Don't fret, man. It's a big responsibility, I know. But you'll be all right. Especially with me to help you. But I... Oh, want me to ask properly, do you? Fair dues. Fair dues. <laughs> oh, pure-hearted one, will you please come and save our world? I... Um... No. 
<gasps> Gas. Sorry, I must have misheard you. What did you say? Go on once more, but louder. I won't do it. I I mean <laughs> I can't do it. This is why they say never work with children. I ask Lexi <coughs> and you give me a hearty yes, sir. That's how this works, see? Gee whiz, that would be swell, you say. It's just how these things are done. It's tradition. How am I supposed to work with this? It's like he's never read a story in his life. <laughs> but I don't know anything about your world. And I just can't right now. What? Because you were mom dropped dead? Uh, yeah. You got a photo of her? Uh. Hurry up, will you? I haven't got all day. Oh. This guy's a dick. What the fuck? Drippy. Let's see dick. Now. Blimey. It can't be. But then it can't be a coincidence, neither. What is it? The great sage Alicia. <gasps> then we might just be able to save you, ma'am. Huh? What? What are you talking about? You ready for another year full? Yeah. The souls of people in your world and my world are connected, which means people from over by you have another version of themselves over by there, called a soulmate, see? And people with soulmates can even look like each other. Now, you a ma'am, well, she shared a soul with the great sage Alicia. A proper talent she was. Huh? So my mom was a sage? But how does that help us save her? Well, Alicia tried to take on the Dark Jinn, but his power was too much for her, and he trapped her in this dark jewel called the Soul Snare. When that happened, then the link between hers and your mam's souls would have been cut off. But if you could free Alicia, it just might fix the link, and who knows, it might even bring your mam back. Is that really true? I can't be sure now, but it's possible, yeah. So it would have been at the same time, just about, hence the heart attack. Wait. Yes. How do you know all this, Mr. Drippy? You've been a doll this whole time. Ah, now there's clever of you. Good question, lad. It's like this, see? I'm not the only fairy. Even though I was stuck by you, my buddies were keeping me abreast of all the goings on over there. Buddies? Now, I suppose it's what you might call telepathy. And that's not all. I was sending my lordly orders back over there, too. Having them spy on Shaddaa and that, you know, tidy, huh? I'm using what some of these words. It starts saying tidy. <laughs> it's like proper. It. I'll come to your Me. world. I'll come with you and save my mom. Oh, that's marvelous. You might be doing it for all the wrong reasons, but if it saves our world, I won't look a gift horse in the mouth. Tidy, we better get going then. Chop, chop. Okay. But how do we get to your world? Oh, curious, are we? All right, I'll tell you. First thing we need is a drop of magic. Go and have a dig around in the fireplace. There's something hidden there so nosy parkers won't find it. But why would anybody hide something in there? That's for me to know and you to find out. Look lively. What? <laughs> Don't get burnt playing with fire. Spell book in the fireplace? Something, something, what? I don't know where the fireplace is. Uh, oh, look. <laughs> A fireplace. <laughs> Surprise! What could be hidden in a place like this? A mighty spell book! Huh? A book? But it will burn in there. Not this book. Yes, the yes, wizard's yes. companion laughs in the face of fire. Wouldn't be much of a spell book if it didn't. <laughs> it. Really? Touche. Touche. But I was saying the same thing, Ollie. <coughs> cough, cough. This is a spell book? That there is the wizard's companion. The fount of all wizarding knowledge. The wizard's companion. Yay! Magic time. See it down at the bottom right of there. And then you just need to choose with X and you can leave through the wizard pan to you. You are heart's content. <laughs> Take a minute or two to have a skim of a few pages, eh? You look like a smart lad, so I'm sure you'll get soon you'll soon get into it. Oh I almost forgot. The first thing you have to do when you get your hands on the wizard's companion is to make a pledge. You need to vow that you'll do all the things all you can Screw the Scottish accent. <laughs> Don't look so flippin' worried. It's not hard. All you have to do is to write your name in the book with an open, honest heart. You don't even have to write Oliver if you want. 
you can write bunting, crybaby, or whatever you like. The important thing is that you mean it. <laughs> Go on, scribble your name down. <laughs> well, we're not going to put Oliver. Should I put Oliver? Nah. I'm going to put Shreds in. Because I am Shreds. Are you happy with the name Shreds? I am quite happy with the name Shreds. Taking the Wizard's Pledge. From here on out, I swear, on a wizard's honor, to always abide by the laws and... Mo I don't. Of the wizard's companion, and will never misuse my magic for anything to harm another living soul. This I swear. <laughs> and are now privy to the timeless wisdom of the... Yay. Wait, so by writing, Tidy. I can read right. now. Magic in our way over to my world, is it? Mm, now, let's see. What is it? You got a wand somewhere by here? We can't go casting spells without a <laughs> wand now, can we? Touché. A wand? Why would we have a wand? Oh, that's a pain. Ah, well, can't be helped. We'll just have to look for one outside. Huh? We won't find one out there either. Don't nitpick, crybaby bunting. Bunting? My name is Oliver. Oh, ah, so the crybaby bit was right, at least was it. <laughs> <laughs> crybaby Oliver. Right, oh, time to find ourselves a magic wand. <laughs> time to find ourselves a magic wand. <laughs> Drippy is now the Terminator. <laughs> He'll be back. There's one hidden somewhere around here, like the spell book. Ha! You're having a laugh if you think I'm gonna make it that easy, man. What do you think I am? Made of wizarding equipment? Uh, yeah. You're a fairy, motherfucker. No, this one's gonna be a little more difficult. But our journey over to my world is a hunt for the soul snare, among other things. So why don't you treat this... Mom, the Easter egg before the wild goose chase, if you will. Oh god, like finding a needle in a haystack. Yeah. Never been, uh, something I've been fond of. <laughs> Okay, I'm lying. The thing is, I've never bought a wand. Oh, what a loser. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> so even fairies tell lies, huh? Of course they do. Us fairies are incorrigible. Cor I can't even do that in oh, without a scar. <laughs> anyway, no point crying over spilled milk. There is... I can attest to the fact that spilled milk is something indeed to cry over. Substitute. How can there be a substitute for a magic wand? If you can find something brown and sticky. Like maybe a stick. <laughs> oh, genius. Do you think I'm sending you up the garden path or something? Fine. Bunting. What are you looking at? Don't tell me you're thinking of using a lamp. This is a flipping one. <laughs> you can cut that out for a start. It's way too flipping big. We need a stick or something like that. Ain't it? Why don't we go and have a look over by there, okay? Over by where? Get back here. From proper tidy motor. Might get myself one of these. <laughs> um, fairies shouldn't be allowed to drive. I feel like this is just a rule that they need to follow. The puppet in your bag for safekeeping. I should probably bottomless bag. Oh, you are nicer items sorted into different categories. There's handy. He's all around. You know what? But when you got loads of stuff, you'll be glad of a bit of order. <laughs> Next time you pocket a tidy item, let me show you. <laughs> Let's take a look through the bottomless bag. Wizard's companion settings. That'd be save. 35 HP and 12. M I'm not sure if it's magic provisions, weapons, armor, accessories, treats. Ooh, treats. Ingredient. Yay. Important items. All of this. 
Yeah, those are pretty important. Fairy suit. Wait, that's... Oh, I thought... <laughs> He's actually wearing clothes. Okay. I didn't realize uh, Drippy was wearing clothes. It was his companion. Okay. That's pretty straightforward. Wait, wait what's Switch do? Oh, that's to move him around once he got stuff. Gotcha. Okay. You know what? Let's actually give it a quick save job. Empty. Saving. No longer empty. Okay, what are you so happy about there, Drippy? Oh, come on. Now I'm supposed to lead? Ugh. It's rain. Um, well, you know, man, if you would let me, if maybe you'd go for a little bit of a lead, you wouldn't be having this issue, see? I don't know where I'm going. Ah, oh, something over here. Loading. What is that symbol? Does it have anything to do? Oh, what is that symbol? I don't know. Oh. It's no use. There's nothing around here that looks like a wand. You're not wrong, Bunting. <laughs> Alright, we'd better split up then. Broaden the search like. I'll go. <laughs> oh. I see how it is, Drippy. Packer. You little bugger. Brown is sticky. Brown is sticky. Oliver? Hey, Philip. Oliver. Oh, it's you. Oh, it's... Green-haired lady, lovely lady. Dee -dee -dee -bee -nee 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 -dee -dee. You're, you're the little girl I met green -eyed before, huh? lady, mm -hmm. green-haired, but... We met before. We, so, how do you know who I am? I'm really, really sorry, Oliver. Huh? Your mummy. I'm sorry. I couldn't save her. Huh? I don't... Why would you be sorry for that? I wanted to save her. I really did. Huh? Hey, wait. Where are you? Some magical child or something. Hey, where did you go? Ollie boy, why are you talking to thin air? Mr. Drippy, she disappeared again. Huh? Who did? That strange girl. That's the second time she tried to talk to me. What's that? A girl? Where? You're right about strange. I can't see her any flipping where. Well, how could you? She disappeared into thin air. Well, anyway, there's something I want to ask you. There is? Uh, What's thick air sure. then? Go ahead. Actually, no, I know it. Do is. you mind it? You know, having a sidekick like. Huh? A sidekick? Who do you mean? <laughs> Crikey, that's cold. <laughs> Who do you mean, he says? Why not stab me in the heart <laughs> while, you're while you're at, at it? it? I mean me. I wanted to know if it was all right me joining you on your adventures. Or if you were maybe wanting to trade me in for a younger, prettier model. <laughs> but it looks like I got my answer, eh? Nah. Well, so you know, if you don't have faith in people, you'll never see their true worth. And what's more? Look at this. Huh? It's not even it just a sticky ground. thing. That's a wall. Right where that girl was standing. Check it's a full blown. Top. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. <laughs> it's a wand. You mean it? A real wand? Come over by here and take a look, man. It might seem like any old stick, but it's got all magic What's written on it. What's See? that say? It does, huh? Wow. Is that how people write in your world? The runes are all faded, so it might have lost a bit of power. But for our current purposes, it's a beauty. A booty. What a stroke of luck. Luckier than you know, Ollie boy. Do I never thought we'd actually find one. Do you think maybe that girl brought it here for me? Would that be soulmate? Or do they have to be same gender? You obtained an old stick. Right. Fantastic. Now we need a place to cast our spell. To cast Gateway, you need somewhere proper massive. Oh. You need space to give it oomph, see? Do we really need that much oomph? oomph? Yeah, what kind of question is that? Magic is special, innit? It's sacred, right? You have to cast spells in the best environment possible. You really are new to this, are you? This is beginner stuff we're talking about here. 
Ain't no kind of magic I ever seen. You need space. Oh, uh, unless you want like burn sorry. a no, town down. Take me somewhere with plenty of space. It's got to be somewhere around by you. Um, the town square, I guess. Yeah, cause that's not gonna draw attention. We got a couple of geniuses right here. <laughs> Let's go to Town Square, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Are we there yet? That's Oliver, you badass, just run up the middle of the road. There was a car there, too. Do you really think we should be doing this here? No worries, man. Normal people can't see magic, see? Oh, go on, okay. Ollie boy. Cast gateway. Um. I really do feel like I'm... Oh, that transports the caster between worlds. I'm oh boy, sorry. It appears if I'm a little tired. <laughs> That's it, man. You got it. <laughs> Don't kill me, Drippy. Oh, that's hilarious. Vingarium Leviosa. <laughs> Not quite. A little off. Ooh. It's quite the gateway. Tiny! <laughs> that quite proper, ain't it? A dog did. Yeah. Let's get a shunting, crybaby bunting. <laughs> the last time it's all of over. Hey, it's not bad work for a crybaby, this. Oh. I'm sorry, I'm, this game, it's beautiful. Back here, you little piece of snot. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm not Scottish. I can't do this kind of stuff. Ah! Ah! <sighs> right, let's get going, shall we? Huh? Hey, wait for me! So this is your world. Ah, home at last. But there's a tidy way to go yet. Hey, Mr. Drippy, that was pretty neat just now, huh? Oh, that herd of elk. Enjoy your first encounter with the majestic wildlife of our mysterious world, did you? Uh -huh. Okay, so that was kind of like a flashback from the first little huh? bit we saw. Oh, it's adorable! Oh, Nickers, where did he spring from? Uh, ah, what do we do? He's not like the big softies just now. He's itching for a fight. Proper savage. Let's run away. No, use that stick you got by there. Give him a whacking and send him packing. Huh? Huh? Ha ha ha. Look lively, he's making his move. Oh, this thing's adorable though. I don't want to fight it. Rough? Oh, Watch they this. even have adorable names. Attack. Don't fret, Ollie boy. Let your old pal, or old pal, let uh, your what? Drippy target did basic battle. Okay, ba battle tutorial. HP, yeah. Health points. We all know that. What health points you have? The healthier you are. You don't say. But if you run out, you'll go unconscious. This is blue gauge. That's your magic points in it. How about magic for now, man? Let's talk about beasties first, shall we? Rough. So lots of information about them. How does that tell me lots of information? It's their name in a bar. What? Oh, that's their HP. And you've won. Really? <laughs> you ever played Pokemon before? You know how this works. Um, hmm. Fairly straightforward. <laughs> like, man, using. Attack from your choice with X and Bob's your uncle. I do have an uncle named Bob, actually. Get cracking with the whacking. Run away, provisions. Attacking. Go! Go! Oh. 
Wow. Tidy. What should I say? Nice. That's what they say when you find an enemy's weak spot or block a big attack, see? Oh, that it dropped something. You'd best pick it up, eh? Oh! Oh, I can... A glim, Ollie boy. Enemies drop them in the heat of battle. Green glims like that when you must draw a few of you. Okay. Going to give you MP back. Yeah, that's it. That makes sense. Give your HP and MP boost for spells that I've it. Of course, the other. At the mo. Ain't got none of that at the mo. Drippy, you look so... <laughs> Drippy, you look derpy right there in that picture. In the... <laughs> It's enough for me, it's time to practice what I preach. Go on, boy. Boy, Bach. <laughs> Give him the what for. Give me that HP, man. Man. Damn straight I got four experience. Damn straight I got three gold. That's what I'm talking about. Big cash. Jeepers, creepers. <laughs> oh yeah, Good movie. I got to mention, our world Not is absolutely all. riddled with beasties. But keep that up, and you'll have nothing to worry about. <laughs> right, let's get a move on, shall we? Sure, Mr. Drippy. But where are we going? Well, first off, we need to get you a wand. But I already have a wand. <laughs> You're having a laugh, aren't you? That thing's about as magical as a. <laughs> <laughs> you might just squeeze a gateway spell out of it. But you can forget about anything more than that. Honestly, oh, I wish you think before you open your mouth. Oh, uh, sorry. No, I told you Ding Dong Dell was just over by yonder. Didn't I? Well, Ding if Dong we're Dell. very lucky, we might find a wand with a bit more oomph down by there. I'm guessing it's a. So, scene. are wands really so hard to find here? Well, time was you couldn't move for the flipping things. But since Shadar showed up, magic's taken a real nosedive. He banned people from using it, see? Cursed anyone who tried to. He scared them all so much they gave it up. So, he's pretty scary, huh? Well, he turned me into a flipping doll, didn't he? Just saying his name's enough to make most folks brick it. Still, I'd rather be a doll than have him go poking round in my heart. No one wants to be broken hearted. Broken hearted? Like, sad? Worse than that, much worse. It's when he steals a piece of a person's heart. Poor beggars don't know whether they're alive or dead. That's no way to live, man. So it turns him into zombies. So that's why they're all so scared of him, huh? We can't let him go on doing this. Well, it's not a matter of letting him, is it? It's not like people flipping enjoy it. <laughs> that's why I brought you here, in it. You might just be able to stop him, see? You really think I can? Yeah, of see? course you can. You are the pure-hearted one. And the legends say that the pure-hearted one will drive away the darkness. We'll teach you a few tasty spells and you'll be ready to face him in no time. Sound good to you? Okay, I'll do it. I'll learn magic. Of course you will. And that's why we need to find you a better wand. All right. Let's head for Ding Dong Dell. Tidy. <laughs> 